Aries, this is your spiritual guidance reading for the month of November. Um, so in the center of your reading, you have the world card, okay? The world card dictates endings, okay? But not just things coming to an end, but things being completed, done, okay? Um, moving past it, okay? Coming full circle. And I feel like your main card is chaos and conflict. So I feel like there is a lot of things going on. Your higher self would like you to know indecision. I use my intuition in all aspects of my life. Okay. So I feel like there's a lot of things you're unsure about. Um, and I picked this up in a lot in all three of the readings actually. Um, and it's about using your intuition about connecting with spirit to figure out what is best for you okay um it's like you have you have an opportunity to build which we'll get here with the magician see only love look past the seeming errors mistakes and misunderstandings and see only the love within each person including yourself your resolve focus upon the love that underlies every situation brings about healing in undreamed of ways. So that's about leaving your, your heart open enough to receive the story. Okay. So it's about listening to your intuition and having an open heart, but you have to almost surrender yourself. Okay. It's like, instead of focusing on how you want to react and what you want to do, um, at that moment and impulsive, is to really think about what it is that you're doing, focus on what spirit wants you to do, and then drive with that energy, okay? You also have surrender resentments. Holding on to resentments only poisons you. Try to forgive others for their shortcomings and keep moving forward toward positive situations in your life. So things may be going bad. As I said, I do feel that chaos and conflict but it's just about moving forward, okay? Surrender those ideas. Understand what you were supposed to learn and move forward. Don't hold on to it, okay? Now, you do have the magician here, and it says you are ready. You have the resources or the ability to manifest them. Life is magical. Life is magical, okay? You do have the power. It's just about where you choose to direct your power at this time, okay? So of course I'll get to the, the main card, but we'll focus on the tarot cards here. You have the Nine of Cups, the Two of Swords, and the Devil card. The Nine of Cups comes up because I, I feel as though you just wanna be independent. You wanna be secure within yourself and where you are, the decisions that you choose to make and on your path. That's where you wanna be. But also I want to say that you need to be careful about uh, being addicted to old ways, uh, materialistic life, um, addictions to things, because that's not going to help you move forward. What happens is you have this two of swords in the middle and this creates a lock. It's like you're stuck in the middle and you can't decide which way to go because you're being pulled each way. Okay, so this lets me know that you cannot be fulfilled within yourself and hold on to these old ways and old addictions. So you have to make a choice. You have to make a choice on where you want to go. Obviously, you know which way you should go, but the choice is yours. Okay. So your main oracle card is chaos and conflict. I haven't actually seen this in a very, very long time. Uh, let's see. So you have chaos and conflict. Disarray, being at cross purposes with another, the tension of opposites, the value of chaos before order. Opposing forces come together to create a turbulent atmosphere. But consider the value of chaos that serves you well. As you become unmoored by it, 
Scattered to the wind, you leave behind the parts of yourself you no longer need and disperse seeds to reinvent yourself anew. Although the conflict appears to exist externally, its essence is also internal, projected outward and causing disarray. You may find yourself at cross purposes with someone else, facing a storm you feel you cannot control, yet every storm passes and chaos leads to a reordering of things. Conflict provides a way to see more than one side of a situation. Look upon this as just a moment in time when you may need to take shelter and step away from the fray. Don't be too eager to fight. This is a time to understand rather than be understood. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, Aries, I hope that that resonated with you and that will help you out some in life or this month. Okay. Um, if you would like a private reading, I'll be more than happy to do that for you. That link is in the description box below. I love you very much and I will see you next month. Love and light.